All right, guys, I'm Dustin DeCrew here at 2019 ATA in Louisville, Kentucky. This is our first stop for the day. I'm with Brian Emmerich from Breadcomb Technology. How's it going so far? Great. I appreciate it. Thanks for having us. We've already had, uh, I mean, I don't even know if the show's technically open, and we've had probably about 20 or 30 folks come by and uh, talk about this unique technology. So it's so far sure. so good. We're going to be long three days. It will It's going to be. be great. It will be. So we're going to get into this right away. Um, essentially, and, and correct me if I'm wrong at any point here, but this is a trackable knock. Okay? It's called, called the breadcrumb. Um, this isn't just your typical lighted knock, right? It is lighted. But the biggest part of this is the, the ability for it to be tracked via an app on your cell phone. Um, tell me a little bit about battery life, those kinds of questions that people are going to ask. Sure, absolutely. Well, I think the most important thing is it's, it's about a Bluetooth-enabled device, right? And so we get a lot of questions of, hey, I don't have self-service where I hunt. You know, one of the things that I'd, I'd stress is this company was started by a bunch of bow hunters, including Ralph and Vicky C. and Ciarillo, who have been in this industry for a long time. Um, and we understand how the technology needs to work. So it's Bluetooth enabled, it's connected to your phone, does not need cell service or Wi Fi service. Okay. But basically, uh, we have got a couple of products. The knock itself is the first Bluetooth enabled knock. So it works with our app. It works the same way a normal, old-school lighted knock would work. You fire it, the light comes on. After that, everything changes. Right. And so after 30 seconds, the, uh, the the light will actually start flashing because the naked eye can see a flash much better than it can see a solid light. Sure. And that's when it starts broadcasting the Bluetooth signal to your phone. Okay. Um, and so and one thing that's different is the, the way that this knock turns on. Yeah. Okay? So this isn't your typical you know lighted knock to where you've got some sort of button that has to be pushed or it has to make contact with the arrow itself, it actually has an accelerometer in this knock. Is that right, correct? right. Actually, to turn it on, we've got what, what is a unique feature. We've got an easy one-touch button. You literally touch it one time and it's armed. And it's armed. Okay. it's ready to go for six hours, otherwise it shuts itself off. But okay. you want to reset it, you hit it one time. But as it fires, the accelerometer takes over and all the software in the chip does everything else from that point forward. And that's what's really unique about it. And then when you pull it out of the ground or the target or the animal or whatever it may be, one button and it's turned itself off. Okay. Um, and so then after this arrow impacts an animal or the ground, hopefully the animal, right? Yes. Um, at that point... Uh, it, it transmits a signal or a ping of some sort. Correct, correct. And a lot of people ask us, well, how does this work? Because my, my Bluetooth only goes 20 yards with my phone mm -hmm. to, to my music or whatever. It's a very um, simple ping that will go on the arrow. It'll go up to about 50 yards with okay. a good battery, solid battery. And our location markers will go up to 100 yards, but we've easily seen 200 yards. And so that starts broadcasting. And what's important is our on VR app, which is free, you own that device, you name that device, you can share that device with anybody you want, or as many as you want. Okay. So you arrow a big buck, you want to find that arrow so you can get back on blood, you can share that device with all five guys in camp. So all five of us can have it and we spread out. Go 100 yards apart, you're 500 yards swath and you're going through the woods, going through the, the dense forest, and as soon as one phone picks that ping up, all the phones are updated and now you know close where it's at and you can start using the sound feature or flashing the light some more. Okay. Get on that arrow, get on that blood, and get your animal. So, uh, another question. So, like, when we shoot this in the field, right, how long will that battery last? How long will that transmit yep. the signal? So, the, what's important is the battery is, battery is replaceable, yep. right? So that's easy. They're not expensive. The software has been developed that over time, it'll slow down the light flash, it'll slow down the interval between the Bluetooth pings okay. to try to maximize the life of that battery to be able to get uh, the best chance of recovery, right? Okay. So we've seen them in the field and we just let them run. With that pinging and that lighting flash, it'll go three days, okay. right? And so it's not, you know, it's not as simple as a light that stays on because some people say, oh, my Luminoc will stay on three days. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that, that's fine, but if it's right. covered by a leaf, you're still going to walk over. in the mud, like, yeah, that's you're, most of my you're gonna step on it. Yeah. Mud. Well, and if you think about like turkey hunting and some of the other stuff, I right. mean, when you are very much parallel with the ground, but you know, whether you get a clean pass through or not, mm -hmm. right? You still have trouble, and you want to get this fifty dollar thing, right. even without our device on it. Right. A, a lighted knock, a broadhead, and an arrow, a good one is gonna cost you a lot of money. You want to get that back. Right. And and for the bow hunter, like I mean. The arrow, you know, we all know, when the arrow goes through the animal, that gives us so much indication as to what actually happened. That's yep. a huge part of whether we go tracking the animal or we don't. Exactly. Right? You know, we spec exactly. out, whatever we do. It's a big part of it. So, um, 
being able to get back on that arrow, and even if it's just to analyze what you're going to do next, yep. or if it's be like, oh, now I found the blood trail, right? Sure. I'm back on blood. Or if you stuck the animal and it runs and it breaks off, we know that often when they break off, there's a bunch more blood that's going to start coming out. So even if that's 100 yards away and it's in a completely different direction than you were expecting, you can still get back to that and get back on that trail, right? right. But it's all about recovery, recovery sure. of the animal or recovery of the device. Perfect. And then you pull it out. If it's broken off, you pull it out and you put it in another in arrow. Room. Yeah. And the replaceable battery is very cool. You don't see that. Um, yeah, and we've spent a lot of time and money engineering that, sure. but they, they work pretty well. And we initially, when we launched in June, you know, we had some battery issues, but we, we went to a new supplier that's four times more, but it's all about making sure that the quality is there so we can have a lifetime consumer. Sure. All right, so that's a kind of a, that's a short and dirty version of the knock. Um, obviously, you can get more information about this from you guys or online. Yep. But let's talk about the locator. Yeah, the location marker to me is, is a, uh, you can grab one there. The location marker to me is, is sort of an, a, a sleeper because it, sure. it's got so many opportunities to be used in the field. So you put that on a blind, a, look, uh, a tree stand. Um, it could be a blood trail marker. And one of the things that I'm most optimistic about for the location marker is you can put that in your safety vest and share that with your wife or your buddy if you're hunting alone. Sure. If you fall, if you hurt yourself, if you pass out, we can go to the last spot you were at. And because this one actually has five LEDs and a much louder sound chip in it, if you want to activate that, right. you can go right to where that person's at. But, gotcha. you know, I can invite you, uh, I think you guys are in Illinois, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can invite you to my lease. You may have never been there. But I can say, I want you to hunt this specific stand. So I can share that stand's device, and I name all my sure. stand's unique sure. stand's like everybody else. I can share that device, like you can look on the, on the app, and it'll show you the last known map location, okay. right? So it's a general proximity, but you can say, great, now I can get close, right. and whether it's 5 o'clock and pitch black and you've never been there, right. now your device will say, I'm connected. You know, you can, you can get close on that map. You can say how close you are to it, so right. you know, and you can light it up. And if it's across the field 150 yards away and that blue light flashes, you can go straight into that stand. Cool. You're not busting anything out, putting a lot of scent down, or making a lot of noise. Sure. So in two, two things that I thought was really cool about this, um, one, it runs on AAA batteries, yep. right? So Any gas station you go awesome. by, you can right. grab some batteries if they run out. And then you said the effective different distance is... 100, 200 we we yards, put on our packaging, yeah, we put 100 yards, but we've seen up to 200 yards. We were out at Ralph and Vicky's place, and we actually saw almost 220 yards, okay. right? In this environment where there's lots of metal and thousands lots of phones, of it's right. a little challenging. Sure. But out in the field where we're at, right. where we hunt, it, it's super simple. And another, like, and there's a million uses, you know, but I think of one, like, we've all been in a situation like where, where you, well, most of us have been in a situation where you shoot a deer, right, and you're like, I got to go to work in the morning, right? So you're like, okay, I'm going to pitch this down. We all have that buddy that doesn't have a job, right? So <laughs> exactly you call right. him, you're like, here, you share that location. Yep. He goes out, finds this, and then he finds your deer and sends you a picture. Yeah, I mean, and you but can change the name of it anything and just call it the blood trail marker. It might have been on a stand that you were hunting or in your pack right. or in your uh, vest, and you just pull it out. You literally put it on top of the last blood, yep. and you send it to your buddy, and they can go out and, and, and get right on that trail again. Perfect. You know? Perfect. It's good stuff. No, this is cool. Um, retail price of these. So $39.99 on these, yep. um, and once again, lifetime device. Uh, on the Knox, they're $45, $44.99 for a one-pack, or $119.99 for a three-pack. And they are replaceable batteries, and if you break an arrow off, you just pull it out and put it back in. And we've got them in SHGT size for, uh, for bows, and for, for crossbows, we've got um, 0 .284, 0 .297, 0 .300, slash okay. 3015 in flat and crescent. Perfect. And so, and we're going to hopefully talk to some of our partners here with some of the other unique sizes that are, that are, uh, that are unique to them and owned by them. And hopefully we can expand that to some of the other, other Good varieties. Deal. There yeah. you have it. Breadcrumb technology. Thanks so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. It was Absolutely. great having you. Thanks for stopping.